Good morning, folks. Very active day on the sun and a pretty active day in the journals. We've had at least six CMEs released since we spoke yesterday as our star kicks into high gear and we begin at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on the sun with eruptive motions all over, including the north near the center. It is possible one of these CMEs will impact Earth with a glancing blow, but most will not. And this coronal hole stream is likely stronger than any component of a CME coming in for a glancing blow. Speaking of coronal hole streams, we took one on setting yesterday morning, and the rise in the purple line, plasma speed, shows the settling in of that stream. We took minor geomagnetic unrest and lowest level storm conditions throughout the day, but nothing major. As we watch the SOHO coronagraphs, even with most of the CME ejecta heading off to the side, I can tell you this level of global activity reminds me of sunspot maximum. Technically, we still have a bit to climb to hit that maximum mark in the 11-year cycle, but the sun is gearing up these eruptions anyway. Let's hit a couple quick links. First is to one that looks at several exoplanet atmospheres and finds those with physical characteristics in common also have common chemistries. This one is focused on the hot Jupiters and the super hot examples with gaseous metal atmospheres. Folks, this one is an interesting read on volcanic activity breaking in equilibrium and causing the heat death of a planet. Quite obviously, and expressly in focus here is Venus. Website members, you need to hit that one for an upcoming Deeper Look episode. Interesting look at a Nova event unfolding unexpectedly here. Details will help them, at very least, recognize where their models need to change or expand to match the breadth of reality. And in that same vein, a paper about the interaction triggering of Nova events. Interaction with a circumstellar medium, the garbage around a star polluting its atmosphere. This works for supernova when stealing material from a sister star. It works for tiny dwarf nova as well, and any mechanism to get that material dumped on a star will work, including one wandering into a molecular cloud and exploding, and the newly discovered micronova events. Indeed, they haven't spotted a binary there, they just presume one. And while many micronova events probably do have a binary, you darn sure don't need one. And it works on the variety of stars that have luminosity and stellar wind which is all of them, including the sun. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.